Item Number SCP-102 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-102 is currently in the possession of Marshall, Carter, and Dark, because ownership appears to be a binding, deed-based, legalistic agreement independent of eminent domain, SCP-102 cannot be transferred to Foundation Control in the foreseeable future. SCP-102 is a pair of standalone condominium-style beach houses located at currently owned by Marshall, Carter, and Dark through the use of a dummy corporation known as Geyser Housing Associates and rented to Marshall, Carter, and Dark members as a vacation home for those with discerning taste in the electric adventures of privileged life. The two share similar properties, although SCP-102-1 is the house on the left number. When a person whose name is not on the lease for SCP-102-1 enters the building, its interior appears to be that of a crumbling empty house, with the prone body of the current leaseholder just inside the doorway, if the house is occupied. Forensic tests of materials recovered from within the house shows it to have been abandoned since the mid to late 70s. All photographs taken within SCP-102-1 corroborate this, regardless of the lease status of the photographer. However, when the lease holder of the house enters via the front door, they find themselves in a fairly normal and well-kept condominium decorated with a nautical theme. Often they report a sensation of dizziness upon entering, which fades within a few seconds. When the lease holder of SCP-102-1 exits the building, they become what is, to all intents and purposes, an incorporeal spiritual manifestation, capable of willful invisibility and moving through solid objects unimpeded. They enter and remain in this state each time they leave the house for the duration of the lease. At the conclusion of their lease, or at any time they willfully break the terms of said lease, they fall briefly unconscious and awaken on the floor at the front entrance of SCP-102-1, which appears to them as if it does to any other non-leaseholder. No bodies have been observed being removed from the house prematurely. SCP-102-2 is the house on the right number. At first glance, the effect of SCP-102-2 is identical to SCP-102-1, however, Advanced Decay followed by Leaseholders of SCP-102-2 who do not exit the building promptly at the cessation of their contract are to be declared missing and presumed dead, 30 days following the end of their lease. Leaseholders who do exit the building are to be administered a regimen of steroid-based enhancers to counter D. Ittered constantly for signs of psychological aberration. Addendum. All information in this report is unverified, though details are consistent from multiple sources. The content of this report were taken from interviews with D-Class personnel numbers 107-0869, Death Sentence, Rape and Murder, 103-3654, Life Without Parole, Aggravated Sexual Assault on a Minor, and 337-0633, Death Sentence. All of whom were frequent tenants of SCP-102-1 prior to incarceration. It is theorized that D-103-3654 made use of SCP-102-1's effect to commit See Interview Logs 102-1 forward slash 2 forward slash 3 for full transcripts.